Lost Media is incredibly fascinating if I'm being completely honest. For, for, for crying out loud, was what my last two videos were about. But we usually don't talk about Lost Media's cousin, Found Media. Lost Media is interesting, but I think Found Media is as interesting, or even in some more cases, more interesting. So that's why today I'll be talking about five pieces of Found Media. But before we start, let me l clarify some rules before we start. So firstly, I'll be talking about lesser known pieces of Found Media. So no Clockman or Crackmaster, those videos will get their own video someday. And I'll be talking about media that is completely found, so no partially lost media. With that being said, let's start the countdown. California Raisins are a group of mascots for dried raisins, who are popularized by a series of stop motion television commercials. A video game for the mascots was created and had a planned release date of 1991. The game's plot would have had the player play as one of the raisins trying to save one of his fellow raisins and their musical notes from the wild bunch. But when unreleased due to the mascots losing their popularity, that was until 2003 when a game when a cartridge for the game was found by Brandon Murphy in Florida. A video of gameplay from the game is on YouTube if you want to watch it. The link will be in the description along with all the other entries on this list. The Adventures of Johnny Quasar is a 40 second long demo that was a precursor to Jimmy Neutron. The demo was first publicly shown at Seagraph of 1995, which won two awards despite, despite the praise it got, it was never re-released after the screening. For a while, the closest to seeing the full short was the first 11 seconds, stitched together from a VHS demo reel for Lightweight. 3D and from DNA Productions' website. For a while, the demo was thought to be on a rare CD-ROM from Seagraph 1995, but was confirmed false by Reddit user Silicone Classics, who owned a copy of the Seagraph disc. It remained lost until August 14, 2017, when Hyo H, the voice actor for Johnny, uploaded the demo on YouTube. Another previously unknown second test from 1997. Both of them are on YouTube and will be in the description. Hey Arnold was a Nickelodeon TV show that aired from 1996 to 2004, but had a pilot episode made from 1994. The pilot was made to show the, Nickel the Nickelodeon executive. The pilot was also remade as the, the first episode in the, the uh, official series. Well, so the pilot was never heard. It was shown before Nickelodeon's first live action film, Harriet the Spy. However, when the film was released on VHS, the pilot wasn't included. Until April 22nd, 2012, when the pilot was uploaded by YouTube user Sonic Guy Zero. Unfortunately, the upload was taken down, but it is available on Daily Motion. Rap City Street Kids Believe in Santa was a 2002 CGI animated Christmas special which aired on WB on Christmas Day 2002. The film was meant to launch a franchise but never happened for reasons I'll explain in a second. The film had a cast of surprisingly well known voice actors including Mark Hamill of all people. The film was heavily banned by both critics and reviewers mainly because of its terrible animation. I think you clearly know where the budget of the film went. The film teased a possible sequel that would have been called a bunny's tale, but never happened due to the negative reception of the first film. For a while, the only footage from the film was from a demo reel for Wolf Tracer Studios, the production company for the film. That was until September 13th, 2015, when Dyke Kate, the founder of the Lost Media Wiki, was given a copy of the film and released it. If you want to watch the film, Prepare your eyes, because it's an experience to say the very least. Walls and Smokey was an animated anti-fire public information film that was made by Ardman Animations. It's usually used as a close down for the BBC. If you don't know what a television close down is, it is basically a send off for the program for the night. Because yes, television wasn't always 24-7. It was used from the mid to late 90s. On August 2nd, 2009, the public information film was uploaded to YouTube and to the internet for the first time, well, at least to my knowledge. I included this as an honorable mention because one, I found this really fascinating, and two, I don't know if this really counts as found media because although yes, it wasn't uploaded before, it wasn't treated as lost media, 
and before the upload in 2009, almost nothing was known about the public information film. So that's why I included this as an honorable mention on this list. Mainly to give more awareness to the topic. With that being said, let's go to number one. Ready and Steady was a 1979 song created by the musical artist D.A. Ready and Steady first landed on Billboard's Bubbling Under the Hot 100 chart at number 106, then moved to 103, and then eventually got to 102 before going missing for decades. It was labeled as a phantom record due to the lack of information on the song and the creator D.A. Until 2016, a, copy, a U.S. copyright catalog contained a, re, a restoration of the song. The catalog was created in 1986 with, with authorship from D.A. Lucy, I hope I'm saying that right, and Jim Franks. Then the, the song was then featured on the Crap from the Past video and is easily accessible on YouTube and will be in the description.